Hey boys and girls, so for today, our holidays around the world country that we're visiting is France. So we are gonna learn how they celebrate Christmas in France. You'll notice that there are a lot of similar things that um, they do in France that we do here in the United States when it comes to celebrating Christmas. So I want you to listen for those similarities and if you hear anything that's different. So first, here's a picture of France. Um, just so we're, you know where we're visiting. Next, we're gonna learn how to say hello in France. So to say hello to someone in French, you say bonjour. So can you practice and can you say bonjour? Good job. We're gonna look at what the flag looks like. So the flag has a blue stripe, a white stripe, and a red stripe. So you'll notice something that is the same about France and America is that our flag has red, white, and blue on it. Ours have different kinds of stripes and have stars, but theirs have the three colors that ours have. So I thought that was neat. So in France, children leave their shoes out for Pierre Noel, and that is what we call here Santa Claus. So they put their shoes out and then Pierre Noel fills the shoes with toys and sweets and fruits for them. This next thing, um, if you've ever had a little Debbie, a Swiss cake roll, these are kind of what those look like. And this is a special Christmas dessert um, that they make in France called Bush de Noel. Bush de Noel. So it has, it looks like some chocolate. It's almost like a chocolate cake rolled up and it's shaped like a log. It's also known as a Yule log. Um, so like I said, if you've had a Swiss cake roll before, that's kind of what it's like. Some traditions that they do in France is children spend time with their families, they eat a big meal, and they sing Christmas carols. So next we're going to look at some pictures of France in around Christmas time, and then we're going to read a little passage with some more Christmas traditions. Another big thing in France is that people do decorate Christmas trees like the one you see behind me, but that started in Germany, which if you haven't learned about, you're going to learn about. And the big th Christmas decoration that they use in um, France is a nativity scene. We're going to learn in the passage that we read that almost every family has a nativity scene at their house with a, a baby Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and we're going to look at some of those. And then your craft today is going to have to do with a nativity scene to um, represent what France does for Christmas. So here are some really pretty pictures decorated in Christmas time. Um, some restaurants, they have some outdoor seating like we do at some of our restaurants here. And a really pretty bridge that's lit up with those Christmas lights. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at, so here are some books that will teach you more about Christmas in France and it's Silence, Pierre Noel, which is like um, what they call Santa Claus, and then the story of Christmas. There's also on the Google or on the yeah on the Google slide the Bitmoji classroom thing that I made. If you click on that book, it's Madeline um, Christmas, and that will also tell you about a little girl in France and how she celebrates Christmas. Okay, so here is a quick little passage to give us some more information about France and Christmas there. In France, most families enjoy two nativity scenes. The first is in their church and the other is at home. The family gathers around the nativity scene and they sing carols as the baby Jesus is placed in the manger. A special cookie is baked. A bean is placed inside and the person finding it is given a crown and becomes king of the party. Christmas Eve is for gift giving. Shoes are left by the fire to be filled by Pierre Noel. Sticks are sometimes left as a reminder to be good. At midnight on Christmas Eve, the grown-ups go to church. Afterwards, a late dinner is served to adults. The children go to bed early to dream of their Christmas miracle. So just like we saw on the slides, um, kids leave out their shoes and get presents put in their shoes. And also I was telling you about a nativity scene that they have one at their church and one at their house. So um, church and Jesus is really a big thing when we're talking about holidays around the world, specifically in France. Okay, so your craft that um, I sent home is, this is the like stable, 
barn. And then this is the pictures to color for everybody that is a part of the nativity. Um, you have baby Jesus, Joseph, Mary, the shepherd. These are the wise men and then the star and then lots of some different animals that were there. Okay, so you can color these um, pictures and then color this brown for the stable. And then you can glue all of your people on to your nativity. So it might look like this at the end. If you have, you don't have to have a blue piece of paper. If you just color your stable, you can try to glue all of the people or tape them onto your stable. Or you don't have to glue them and you can just play with them as like a little toy and make up your own Christmas story with it. Okay, so now you can color the, um, the stable that your teacher should have sent home in your packet and the people that go along with the nativity scene and make your own nativity scene to celebrate Christmas in France.